but we've been talking about the Pueblo Indians and their culture. We've discussed where and how they lived, how they dressed, as well as how beautifully sculpted and decorated their pottery was. So let's review our essential question, which is, how can you design a two-dimensional symmetrical vase inspired by the Pueblo Indian culture? So now that we've already designed and cut out our symmetrical two-dimensional bases, it's time to implement designs. So today I would like to demonstrate for you some of the techniques to effectively design your Pueblo Indian-inspired base using the handouts provided in your desk. So the first thing I want you to do is take some time to thoroughly look through the handout. And I want you to look for objects or patterns or designs that interest you. What speaks to you? What stands out to you? And so as I'm looking through the handout, front to back, I see that I really like this turtle here, and I want to try to draw this on my base. So I'm going to start off by breaking it down into basic shapes. So I'm looking at the turtle head here and seeing that it resembles a diamond. So I'm trying to repli replicate that diamond shape. And then the body is shaped as a circle. But you know what? As I look at this, I'm glad that I pressed lightly with my pencil when I drew that because I think I want to draw it bigger. So now that I erase that, I can't even see that I had a picture there before because I pressed so lightly. So now I'm going to go back in and redraw my turtle. Again, breaking it into basic shapes, but drawing it much bigger because by drawing it bigger, it's going to make it easier to color later, and also it just makes it more interesting. So now I'm going to draw the feet, and as I'm thinking about what else I'm going to add to this turtle, I'm thinking about the center of it. And as I looked in the handout, I like these designs, but I don't want to draw them. I'd like to draw something different and make it my own. So after I finish the feet here, and the tail, what I'm gonna do is instead of doing the designs in the center of the turtle that were on the handout, I'm gonna do my own thing and I'm just gonna make a series of circles as the designs on the shell. And I think it'll be neat too because whenever I color this with neutral colors, I'll be able to make a pattern on the shell as well. All oh, right. So now that I'm finished with my turtle, I want to look for areas of negative space. So when I look for negative space on my base, I see some up here, I see some on the left and the right and at the bottom. So I think instead of doing an object or an animal, I am going to do a pattern. And I really like this pattern right here because it's geometric and spiral. So I think I'm going to do that here at the top of my base. And again, I'm drawing lightly because if I want to change anything, it'll make it easy to erase. Now, as I'm looking at this, I think I'm going to extend the lines the whole way to the left and the whole way to the right because now what that's going to do is make it look like that pattern is wrapping around my base. I know that these are two-dimensional bases because they're flat but I could make it look three-dimensional by extending that pattern to make it look like it's going the whole way around my base. Now, again, I'm looking for negative space. So I think I'm gonna do another pattern because I just really like doing patterns. And I like this one down here that has the different zigzag lines. So I'm going to incorporate that at the bottom And then I'm going to add those other details into the pattern. And all they are is just basic zigzag lines, but the way that we're drawing them, it makes them very interesting. And then lastly, so I finish my pattern at the top, pattern at the bottom, object or animal in the middle. I want to do two more designs here because I think that's a lot of empty space that should be filled. And I do like this sort of scratch pattern here, this scratch design. So I think I'm gonna make it symmetrical. I'm gonna do one here on the left side. 
and then also do one in the opposite direction on the right side so that it matches and it's symmetrical. So now I have finished implementing Pueblo Indian inspired designs onto my symmetrical base. And I've arranged them in an interesting way, trying to eliminate too much negative space.